Hey guys, what is up? SandyBurger2000 here, and today I will be basically explaining to you how a airsoft gun works. Uh, this will help with any problem solving, why your gun isn't working, kind of how to take it apart. I'm just going to do a time lapse of me taking it apart. I'm only going to be taking one of these guns apart. <laughs> I just put this one here because yesterday was Christmas and I got this new braille system. I think it looks pretty cool. So, um, we will do that now. Okay, so um, at the end, if you notice why it was taking so long for me to get the bumper tube off, it was because Walmart or Black Ops, uh, Walmart was selling Black Ops guns, are basically the only company or uh, big uh, place that does sell uh, Black Ops guns, decided it was a good idea to super glue the buffer tube onto the uh, receiver so it took me like forever to get that undone and it like almost destroyed this wire so I'm just going to take this off and then I'll cut to when I'm done taking this off you just want to take this girl here 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 that should be the same for every version 2 gearbox okay so now that I have it taken apart you can see the internals of the gun all right so this is one I will tell you how it works. Now this gun is broken for a reason, and I'm pretty sure of this reason, not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Um, when you have a plastic gearbox shell, such as this, um, these two little plates right here can um, uh, kind of get bent upwards and not stay in place simply because this is a weak plastic and there's a lot of pressure going through. Here, especially when you um, have a pretty good spring in here or you have an upgraded spring um, and these two little pieces right here can be shifted out of place and this one can be pushed up sometimes even pushing this out of place if the plastic on your gearbox is weak enough which on this black op gearbox is the case so um, <laughs> uh, but that's the problem with this, so basically when you pull the trigger, these two are not completing the circuit. So, how does this work? So, a battery is plugged in down here. Oh god, sorry. A battery is plugged in down here. Uh, electricity is always running through this wire. One, one part of it will go through the black end, which is plugged into the motor right here. And then the other wire is connected to here. Now when you pull the trigger, it pushes these two pieces together, which is not happening. Um, another reason why this uh, gun is for some reason broken, but um, it pushes those two pieces together, completing the circuit. The electricity goes through here and to here. This piece is automatically I can't get it here because of the spring or the wires, and also I'm doing this with one hand. This piece goes under here. Oh god, my hand is in the way. Alright, so this, this pinion gear right here goes to this pinion gear, spins this gear, spins this gear, spins this gear, spins the um spins the piston back, locking the spring. Tap it plate allows this to turn. Uh a tap it gear or tap it plate, which is this thing, which runs right all the way down here with this little spring on here, allows this to turn completely, which releases the pressure pressure off of the piston. Piston pushes air through here, through the air nozzle, uh, and then the bucking and the barrel and the hop up are um, airtight. So air cannot get through them. That's why you need to have a good bucking, um, which is something that goes in your t uh, hop up. It just keeps the seal so no air gets out. The more air you have running through here and the faster the air travels, obviously the, most, the more powerful your gun will be. Uh, and then all the air pushes a BB um, out the barrel and 
yeah, that's how it works. So to recap, energy comes from the battery through here, half the energy goes to here, half the energy goes to the trigger contacts, trigger contacts come together, energy travels to the motor, uh, motor spins a tap, or tap it, not tap it, plate pinion gear, spins this gear, spins this gear, uh, spins a piston back, tap a plate, releases pressure off of this gear, piston launches forward, pushing air out the barrel, or pushing air and the BB out the barrel. And then the mag, uh, you also want to have good mags because uh, the better the spring is in the mag, the faster the BBs will load. So if you have a, a gun shooting at, let's say my motor shoots at 40,000 RPM, not in this gun, in that gun right there, shoots at 40,000 RPM. Uh, if you have a mag that can only shoot at 30,000 RPM, well, you're not going to get all the BBs out there because your motor can spin faster than your mag can push BBs into it. So um, these 30 round bath mags are really good um, to use. Uh, also, those Elite Force 700, or $7.50 $7 magazines off of evic.com are also very good because those will both load enough BBs. Um, those, both those magazines, the Evic Bant Bag and the Elite Force, uh, they, I believe it's a 250 round mid cap mag, uh, can support my 40, or my 40,000, uh, RPM motor. So, um, yeah. So this should help you with most of your problems. Most of your problems are in the gearbox if you ever have any. The most common one I would say is this motor, uh, after a while with... This, where's the part? This part right here. The motor sits in here, and your pistol grip, and this right here, you can tighten this down, uh, which then pushes this farther into the gearbox. So if it's making a weird screeching noise, this is, this motor right here is moving without touching any of these, which means the gun won't work. But if it's too far in, you're like a, kind of sound, <laughs> um, the, um, it's called, the motor is too far in, and it is not spinning these, so, um, and which is extremely bad for your gearbox, by the way, um, if it's like that, usually it won't ever happen unless you do it <laughs> to your gun, uh, that's always human error, uh, because over time, screws will untighten, but not tighten, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but all you got to do is just tighten the screw on the top. So yeah, uh, I'm going to figure out what's wrong with this gun and get it working again. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope that hope you learned something from this video. Um, also, hope this video kind of showed you how to take it apart, put it back together, whatever. Um, this is what it should look like when you open it. This is what it should look like when you put it back together. So uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.